I filled this jar with the grossest, nastiest water I could find, and I was shocked by what I found living inside. This water is from a drainage ditch, a ditch that is filled with trash and is also a destination for runoff from the surrounding residential community. And as you can see, it looks pretty disgusting. But once the water had a chance to settle, it was surprisingly clear. And immediately I began to spot signs of life. The first thing I spotted was this leech. This leech spent its time alternating between burying itself in the substrate at the bottom of the jar and wiggling in circles around the perimeter of the jar. A vicious hunter, it would often latch on objects at the surface, usually some seed, and drag the seed deep underwater before releasing it once it realized that it didn't match its carnivorous diet. I also spotted this creature. I wasn't sure if it was alive, so I tapped it and, yep, it's alive. This is a mosquito pupa. And it took me a bit to figure that out because I'm accustomed to seeing mosquitoes either in their adult form or in their larval form. I honestly didn't know that this is what they looked like um, during one of their life stages. Buried in the substrate was also these wiggling worms known as tubifex worms, though they're also frequently referred to as boogie worms because of their near constant dancing. And surprisingly, I didn't notice the leech preying on these worms, and I don't know why that's the case. They seem like they'd be easy prey. These creatures that I've listed so far are admittedly quite small, but still easily visible to the naked eye. And that can't be said for hundreds, even thousands of smaller microorganisms that are hiding in this jar of seemingly uninhabitable water. But... Thanks to this two times macro lens made by Laowa, they aren't hidden from me. This small creature is known as an ostracod. Despite their tiny size, they're incredibly complex creatures that primarily feed on decaying matter. This is one of the largest ones I've ever got footage of, but there's quite a few other ostracods in here as well. In addition to the leech and the tube effects worms, I found quite a few other worms or worm-like creatures, but most of them I'm not sure or positive on their species. A lot of them seem to be feeding on decaying plant and animal matter near the surface of the water. And speaking of the surface of the water, I also found this little guy. Terrarium lovers can easily identify this as a springtail. Springtails commonly live beside or on top of bodies of water. And I think it's cool I was able to spot one here. And if you're surprised by the life found in a less than ideal aquatic habitat, don't be. Water of all quality can and does support life, and I'd even argue that low quality water that is somewhat or completely stagnant and low in oxygen is an important habitat for many creatures. This ditch could do without the trash and runoff, of course, but there has to be a balance and a variety of aquatic ecosystems ranging in their biodiversity, uh, water temperature and, and oxygen levels, speed of flow, etc. Though again, we could do without, <laughs> we don't need any variety in terms of pollution levels. Uh, the ideal would be none. But destruction of other aquatic environments, ones that are more fragile, such as streams and rivers, often leave those ecosystems, well, not unlike this one, uh, a polluted, lower oxygen or higher temperature environment. Even if life continues to thrive in those environments, it's usually a different kind of life. There's going to be a loss of biodiversity among creatures that aren't tolerant to such changes, such as a lot of fish species and many aquatic insects. And that sucks. Now, unlike some of the other jars that I have filled with animals and plants, I won't be keeping this one closed and sealed over the long term. In fact, over the few days that I filmed this video, I was sure to open the top of the jar on occasion to allow for some fresh air inside. See, there are no plants inside of this jar, and, and it appears there's probably only a very small amount of algae inside. I haven't actually seen any algae, but it's pretty safe to assume there's some. That means... There's little to no recycling of carbon dioxide into oxygen and carbohydrates or cellulose. Sure, that small amount of algae could 
theoretically grow and support a number of other organisms that require the oxygen they produce, but that would take time. And during that span of time, it's likely most of the other creatures would expire. So I'm definitely returning this to the drainage ditch that I found it in. But first, I wanted to try and show you something. I, I swirled the water up like so. I, I wasn't trying to be rude to the inhabitants of the jar. Instead, I wanted to show you a creature that I had seen right after I filled the jar, but didn't capture on camera at the time. Unfortunately, those creatures didn't show themselves. But here's some footage from a different jar that I filled with a few months back, capturing the same kind of creature. These are tiny mollusks, probably what you'd call pea clams, very small species of clam. And I saw two of these on this new jar clinging to the glass. Now, of course, as the water settled, they buried themselves in the substrate as clams often do. And I haven't seen them since. But it's pretty shocking to me to see clams, of all things, coming from this kind of an environment. Also, when I opened up the lid to dump it back in the drainage ditch, I spotted this mosquito and I was sure to take him out before I yeeted the water back into the drainage ditch. I know, I know, it's a mosquito. It's a controversial topic, but it'll be a meal for some other animal. And besides, it only has a few weeks before the first frost up here in Minnesota. But hey, if you like this video, check out one of these other videos on the screen to contrast this jar with two other jars I've also created, one from a lake and one from a stream both of which contain an astounding amount of life and will, thanks to the plants and algae inside, survive indefinitely, despite being sealed off from the outside world. So, take care, and I'll see you next time.